Verse 28 says, let the thief no longer steal, but rather, and so instead of stealing, let him labor doing honest work with his own hands. Labor, Christian, is honorable. Sometimes you got to just say that out loud and just let it sink in. Work is honorable. Whether your labor is with your hands, with your mind, with your mouth, some combination, the point is that there is honor in working for your keep. Now look, there are exceptions in life, and we ought to recognize those, those who are disabled, handicapped, mentally unable, uh, you know, but the rule, not exceptions, the rule ought to be, if you don't work, you don't eat. Right? Now, I know Christians that recoil at that, that think that's not biblical to say that. Let me just show you what Paul wrote in 2 Thessalonians 3.10. Paul said, For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ do their work quietly and earn their own living. Huh. It is there after all. Darn it. Remember, God commanded Adam to work and keep the Garden of Eden before or after the fall? Before. The command to work came before the fall. Work isn't the enemy. What's the enemy? Toil and difficult work by the sweat of the brow. Thorns and thistles. That's the, that's the curse part. But work is built into us as God's good design. Whether that's your job that pays you, whether that's raising your children and your family, whether that's literally growing food on a farm. Paul's point is simple. It is honorable to provide for yourself by the work of your own hands. Now, I'm going to say something a little controversial here. Is that okay? Can I do it, Al? Yes, sir. Okay. It is not good. I'll qualify this a little bit, but it is not good for Christians, especially Christian men, to depend on the government to provide for you. Now, if you're disabled, if you're a woman whose spouse has left you, if you're feeling, if you're abused and you're fleeing, if your house is burned to the ground, if you were laid off and you need to go temporarily on unemployment while actively seeking for a work, God understands all of that, okay? God understands all of that. Reasonable people understand situations like that in life. There are good programs that exist and should exist for good reasons, and it's not a sin to use them in righteous ways, okay? We, we know that. However, if you're a healthy person and you're purposefully avoiding work because you can get more on unemployment or you're just having more children for free benefits or you're avoiding getting married to get out of some tax benefit, you are not doing honest work. You are dishonoring God by not laboring with your own hands. You're scamming taxpayers out of their hard-earned money, and that's not right. Christians are not to participate in that lifestyle. There is honor in working to provide for yourself and for your family. Paul gives another reason in the second half of verse 28. He says, so that, so we work so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. In other words, don't steal from others. Rather, work with your own hands and give to others. That's the model. One of the reasons we work hard and that work is not evil and that money is not evil is that generosity can flow from the overabundance of the work of your hands. God's desire is that Christians would help the needy out of the abundance of our hard work. That's honorable. That's God glorifying. I'm going to say it. I got one more. When, we good? When taxes help the needy, it is not done cheerfully. Anybody a, a cheerful tax giver in here? You ever given out of your taxes cheerfully? No, you haven't. You give as little as you can, right? And secondly, Tax money is redistributed inefficiently. I mean, really inefficiently, right? That's not God's plan for generosity in the world. God's plan for generosity is not to, that it be taken out of an uncheerful heart by force 
and given away inefficiently. That's, we, we call that bad stewardship, don't we, in church? So, I lost my spot. I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> God's plan is that we work honestly and that we would be motivated by the ability to do more with the kingdom resources he has given us. So, stealing's the easy path, but someone else pays the bill. God's desire is that we work honestly. 